Kaepernick hires attorney Mark Duragos. Lawsuit for the NFL refusing to let him quarterback. Colin Kaepernick is furious that no NFL team has hired him and now the poor victim is taking it to court, hiring high-profile lawyer Mark Duragos. Insanity. Colin Kaepernick caused his own problems, and very frankly has cost the NFL big money because he is too lazy to protest on his own time. Sporting News explains. Colin Kaepernick, who has not been able to find another job in the NFL since opting out of his 49ers contract earlier this year, has reportedly filed a collusion grievance against NFL owners. The 29-year-old quarterback has hired attorney Mark Giragos to assist him. Giragos released the following statement Sunday night. We can confirm that this morning we filed a grievance under the CBA on behalf of Colin Kaepernick. This was done only after pursuing every possible avenue with all the NFL teams and their executives. If the NFL, as well as all professional sports leagues, is to remain a meritocracy, then principled and peaceful political protest, which the owners themselves made great theater imitating weeks ago, should not be punished and athletes should not be denied employment based on partisan political provocation by the executive branch of our government. Such a precedent threatens all patriotic Americans and harkens back to our darkest days as a nation. Protecting all athletes from such collusive conduct is what compelled Mr. Kaepernick to file his grievance. Colin Kaepernick's goal has always been, and remains, to simply be treated fairly by the league he performed at the highest level for and return to the football playing field. According to Pro Football Talk, citing source with knowledge of the situation, Kaepernick wants to blow up the league's collective bargaining agreement, CBA. If Kaepernick can prove collusion through the grievance, the CBA will be terminated. Kaepernick's collusion grievance in part, alleges league owners blackballed him and were further coerced by President Donald Trump. The NFL Players Union said Sunday it will support Kaepernick but will have no role in the grievance. The union didn't learn of it until it was reported in the media Sunday. Our union has a duty to assist Mr. Kaepernick as we do all players and we will support him, the statement said. Then Flippa has been in regular contact with Mr. Kaepernick's representatives for the past year about his options and our union agreed to follow the direction of his advisors throughout that time. This whole issue is so stupid. These lazy football players can only find time to protest during the two three minutes of the national anthem at the beginning of the game. These have been lazy antics not protests. They leave the game and go back to their lazy millionaire lifestyles. Colin Kaepernick brought this upon himself, he offended his fan base and he made himself a hot potato to any team who hired him. Besides the fact that he is wrong, there is no systematic racism in our law enforcement, he decided to steal his employer's venue to do his stupid little antic. I hope this costs you a lot of money, Cape Kaepernick, because you are not a victim, you are the perpetrator. You cause this mess you are in? It is real simple. Protest on your own time. These lazy three-minute antics have not been a real protest anyway. These morons don't have the intestinal fortitude to go out and really protest. They are too busy living their high lifestyle that the millions of dollars they have received while living the American dream. There is a major Veterans Weekend NFL football boycott planned. Click here for details. We will be not be watching or listening to NFL games on November 12 in solidarity with veterans around the country, as football players have continued to disrespect the national anthem, the American flag, and everything our nation stands for. What do you think of the CEO pulling ads and sponsorship from the NFL? Click here. Click here.